Well, I currently work here at the University at Villanova. I have worked here for about three years now. I, before I started working, I got my master's in history here, and I'm currently in the public administration program, master's in public administration. And uh, I chose that program because I had, I had done a certificate in a couple classes during my history program. They try and pair some of the more academic programs with their certificates in public administration because they allow for more practical, more professional uh, skills and, and leadership and management and those type of things. So uh, I decided since I was working here and I could go, I would continue and finish that degree. So I'd have a very academic degree and a very professionalized degree. So I took the uh, one credit in social and emotional intelligence and I'm planning on taking a one credit in this summer on project management. I chose those because I wanted to have a more broad scope of what I was looking at. I'm very higher education focused and they fit a little better. I, I chose emotional and social intelligence because I didn't really know what that was and the concept sounded really interesting. I think it's really useful for anyone in any organization or business to learn about that type of thing because it's something that you're aware of but you don't really know how to speak about it and talk to it. And once you learn some of the theory behind it, you can kind of tell different people have different strengths and weaknesses in those areas and it helps to manage and work with others. I just think that every discipline is very different and the way people think and approach their research or their issues they're discussing is always very different. So, you know, in a history program, it's very academic, it's very self self-learning base, it's reading, it's writing, and that's pretty much all it is. Uh, where in an MPA or an HRD program, it's a lot more sharing stories and experiences and learning uh, more practical day-to-day -day things. So it's nice to be able to bring those type of things into your job on a daily, on a daily basis. The key that there's so much interplay is that both both programs are dealing with people working in organizations and trying to develop better managers and leaders. So I think in particular some courses, uh, Leadership Ethics is, uh, a, it's a basically a moral philosophy course. I really suggest it because I really enjoyed when I took it. Now you have to have a sort of philosophical mind, be willing to go off, go off into the ether and discuss big topics, but it really is why do you believe what you, what you believe? And then the next step is how do you apply those beliefs into your daily life when you have to make decisions as a manager. Uh, another good class I would say is organizational theory and once again to get a deeper theoretical grounding of how to structure and why and what works and what doesn't and uh, how people have tested different things in the past. And then uh, there's a personnel management class. All these things, you, you, they could be titles of an HR class I think. So there's a lot of good interplay and, and if you work in, if you're an HR person in a public organization whether it's a university or uh, a nonprofit or government then there's, I mean, any of the classes really could apply and, and give a lot of value.